obviously different. The pen type's absolutely amazing. Hi guys, today I've got another haul video for you and this one will be of all the skincare products I bought in Japan because I did buy quite a few Korean products when I was in Japan but they'll be in a different haul and this one's just the Japanese skincare products that I've bought. I'll get straight into it. First I'm going to start with Biore because it just seems to be my favourite brand in Japan because it's really really affordable and it is quite different to Biore in Australia. In Australia it tends to be more for acne prone skin or problematic skin whereas over there it's got a really wide range and it's loved by people of all ages and it works for sensitive skin in that as well. First of all is this Marshmallow Whip which I have tried before although I tried the one that was just the regular moisturizing one and then a rich moisture. This time I actually got one which is for acne prone skin. I don't necessarily have acne prone skin but I do get breakouts fairly often. So this is just a self foaming one. I'll actually show you. It is a self foaming so it just comes out as a foam. That's one pump which is like a decent amount. I do tend to use two pumps and I just have been using it in the morning because I'm always in a rush in the morning and I tend to not do a proper foam with a net in the morning so it's really easy. I have been using it for a few weeks now and I really like it. It's obviously not very strong, it doesn't have a strong smell or it doesn't feel any tingly or kind of soothing and stuff on my skin so it's obviously gentle enough to use even if you don't have acne prone skin. Next is my beloved cleanser. This is always going to be my favourite so I bought two bottles. Biore Perfect Oil, which I have talked about before in another video, so if you do want to know a bit more about it, I'll leave the link below for that video and you can check it out, but it is definitely all-time favourite cleansing oil, and I have been, I think when I first bought it was when I was in like year 6 or 7, when I like first ever wore makeup and I'm like, I need something to get it off, and this was the first thing I bought and I've been in love with it since. So definitely my favourite cleanser. Next is a Biore toner or lotion which I've also talked about this um, before in my repurchase skincare video which again will be linked below but it's in a bottle like that. This is already my third bottle I think and I bought two of the bottles and this time I just bought a refill since it is cheaper and it was lighter to bring back on the plane. Next is another refill pack for a Biore product but this isn't actually just, it does say it's a toner or lotion which is called Kishosu in Japanese. It is like a lotion, although it's kind of different. It's a jelly and it says acts as a toner or lotion, um, an emulsion, a serum, and also a pack, like a mask. So it's like an all in one that you can just put this on at night and it's like a magical product at night. It's been advertised quite a lot over there right now and I thought I'd give it a go. Um, I just bought the refill pack again. I did do that quite a lot with the products I bought. I bought most of them in a refill pack just because it's cheaper and it's lighter to bring back and obviously my suitcase was like way over weight. <laughs> I have also talked about this before, kind of one of my all time favourites, Biore UV Care which is the aqua rich in the 50 plus which is definitely one of my favourites. I've talked about it before and I'm currently using one which is almost empty so I actually two, bought two bottles when I was over there because I absolutely love it. That is all the Biore products. Next is a, another cleansing oil which I've tried before and I don't love as much as my Biore one but I could not not buy it because the packaging is so cute. It's like a mini, there was daisy ones and there's also like a chip Chip and Dale one but the packaging was just so adorable. Of course I'm a sucker for packaging, ended up getting it. It was really cheap, it was only about 300 yen or something which is like three bucks so it was really really cheap i was like why not it's so flipping adorable i just <sighs> japan and their collab packaging with disney and cartoons and stuff is just always gets me <laughs> talking about collabs the next product is actually it's kose kose i don't know how to say it in english kose that brand there but it is called Natu Savon. Never tried it before but it seemed to be quite popular over there at the moment and there you go, it's a snippy. This is a self-foaming pump as well. I do buy a few of the pumps just because it's so much easier in the morning. I also bought a refill which is the exact same product, just the refill obviously. It's cheaper again so I bought that, that's another foaming cleanser. I think I've already mentioned this in another video that I bought it but the Perfect Whip by Senka which is always a favourite by a lot of people. It's just a big size, regular foaming cleanser. And then I thought I would try a Dove one. I think it is actually kind of the exact same as the ones in Australia but it was really cheap and I thought well if it's popular here and there I guess I'll give it, give it a try. 
and it was really really cheap so that's just another regular foaming cleanser next is by a brand called Juju and I did try their aloe aloe vera moisturizer and I actually quite liked it so I thought I would try one of their toners or lotion um it's just in a refill pack it's got hyaluronic acid in it which is definitely one of my favorite ingredients I just find it gives back water and moisture to the skin without really being heavy or sticky because my skin is oily combination so I do prefer something that moisturizes without it feeling really heavy hyaluronic acid is perfect collagen and that is a little bit too heavy for my skin as of yet so it's definitely um an ingredient that i kind of look for when i'm looking for skincare products next is another one by Senka, which is the brand who does the perfect whip but another toner or lotion another refill pack it is for whitening and it is made from like it's a lotion made from serum so it's very moisturizing but I did get the stuff buddy which means it is a little bit more a lightweight one I have used this before and I really really liked it I always like the toners slash lotions that are a bit more of like a watery consistency and you can hear it. it's very watery it's not really slimy in that which tends to be more popular in Japan but I do like the more watery ones I've tried this before and it's really good support that again next is another I guess it is a toner or lotion Yes, it is. Um, <laughs> I know I've bought a ton of toner slash lotions, but they are the products that I use the most. And I use both morning and night. And I just tend to go through them quite a lot because I am generous with using it. So this is just a spray bottle, which is always handy. If I feel like I'm a little dry, it's really easy to apply. Um, and you can just like spray on top of moisturizer and that if I've already finished my skincare routine. So I think it's by Hana is the brand and it's called Hada no Mi, which Hada stands for skin and no Mi is kind of like to drink. So it's like something for your skin to drink, which I think is a cool concept. And it's got aqua placenta in it, which I'm not quite sure what that is. <laughs> also has hyaluronic acid in it. So it will be interesting to try that out. Next is a gel peeling product which is definitely not something common in Australia, but I have been starting to like a lot. I've started using it probably like a year ago, and it is like a product that you use kind of once or twice a week to get rid of the dead skin cells on the surface of your skin. So it's just like a jelly that you rub on, usually on dry hands and skin, and it just kind of collects all your dead skin and it crumbles off. And I have been using one called Cure for a while, and I absolutely love it. I usually like twice a week and it, your skin is just like baby skin after you use it so I thought I'll try this one because it says it's one of the most popular by a brand called Brilliant Colors I think Dead Clear Bright and Peel it says supposed to get your dead skin off like that that's really grey but yes I got my brother to use it one time and it went like a dark color <laughs> but when I use it it just does crumble off like white exfoliating does kind of somewhat get rid of it but it doesn't actually take it off the surface it kind of just like buffs it around so this is good to actually take off all that dead skin that you exfoliate off next are two sun care products I always love Japan sun care products just because they do have a high SPF but are lightweight and don't feel so heavy on the skin I hate the smell and the feeling of a lot of sun care products and often when they are high SPF they do have a really strong smell to them in Australia whereas in Japan they don't so I'm trying this Ali one by Carnival SPF 50 and it was like a big size it's 90 mils a moisture gel so it's very lightweight it's gel like and it doesn't feel gross on the skin it's pretty much like the bureau one I'm guessing but I haven't tried it yet so <laughs> and another one is the skin aqua which is again a moisturizing gel so it's really lightweight and SPF 50 I always do tend to buy quite a few sun care products I actually thought I bought more I feel like I should have bought more because I do use them every day and I really don't like the ones over here. <laughs> Lastly is a pack of masks. They are everywhere in Japan. They are called Lululun. Lululun masks. <laughs> and it says Ichoku. I don't know how many Ichoku is. I think it's one million. Anyway, it's like a mask that has just sold a crap load over there. It's in this massive thing. It's a really cute packaging. There are 42 masks in there. It does have hyaluronic acid in it again and it's got a whole bunch of other stuff it's been really popular I think there's three types in this brand but I got this one because it's not too rich but it is still moisturizing so it's like balancing moisturizing 
so it's not like intense moisture but it's like balanced so it's not too too rich which is perfect for me so I'm excited to use them I have not opened them yet because I've been using my other single masks but they will be interesting and exciting to use at the start of the video I know I said it was skincare but I'm just gonna check in the hair care stuff that I bought as sorry I'm just going to check in the hair care stuff that I bought as well since I didn't buy that much. So I thought I will just chuck it in the same video. Whoa. So again, even with hair care products, I have opted for the refill option, which I really feel it's a shame that Australia doesn't do it as much. Obviously, it saves so much more plastic and usually cheaper anyway. So I really think Australia should get on top of that. <laughs> I actually don't have an empty bottle for these, but I will just buy one or once I finish using my current shampoo, I'll just put it in there. So another popular thing in Japan at the moment is oil shampoos. They have oil in it so it's moisturizing while you wash it and this is also non-silicone and sulfate free which I have been using quite a lot lately. I do wash twice, once with a normal shampoo which has been sulfate free one and I have been using that for a while now and then I wash with my purple shampoo which obviously isn't but I do tend to like them and the oil shampoo was something new that I have not tried. So this is the Oleodore, probably not saying that right, Glossy Finish Botanical Oil Shampoo. It was one of the more popular ones over there. I just thought I would try a few of the oil shampoos because they looked really interesting and they're obviously really cheap over there. So I'm trying that one. Another oil shampoo I'm trying is the Diante Repair Shampoo and it's actually got argan oil in it which is always a plus. I do love my argan oils. I usually use a serum with argan oil in it because it does help my hair and I do have severely dry and damaged hair. And to go with that I actually got their treatment mask which I have to use every time I wash my hair just because it is damaged as I said. So that's the treatment mask that goes with the shampoo and it actually came with a free sample of their serum. So I'll try that out as well and see how that goes. The only other hair products I bought was hair mask. I actually don't use any conditioner and I only use hair masks. So I shampoo twice and then use the hair treatment or mask. I just find some conditioners seal it in and seal all the moisture in and then when you use treatment on top of that it's just not going to go in as well. So I use the treatments on freshly washed hair and I bought this essential one because these are always so cheap. They're like $5 or something around there and I bought their tub ones before. I just bought this to actually use while I was over there but I only used it like twice so I brought it back with me. Another one I got was the hair recipe one. Their ads are playing on TV in Japan a lot and I found it interesting that they use really natural ingredients and that's why it's called like it's like a recipe for your hair because they use all these ingredients. It's got like apricot honey it's non-paraben and it's no mineral, I'm pretty sure that's mineral oils. I know some products of mine definitely contain parabens and sulfates and all that, but I am kind of mixing, mixing it up, seeing how I go with ones that don't have it in it. That is actually all the products I have. So I hope you guys enjoyed the haul for my skincare and hair care that I bought in Japan of Japanese brands. Another haul that will be coming up is the Korean skincare and cosmetics that I bought while I was in Japan. I hope you guys liked the video and I will see you next time. Bye!